Salute and welcome to the house that I'm currently staying in that is also for sale. And in this video, I'm going to give you a tour of this beautiful finca located in the hills above Medellin. It's got three bedrooms, three baths, a sauna, but the real beauty of this land is the land itself. It's 36,000 square meters. It's bordered by two freshwater creeks and about a 15 minute walk to some of the most beautiful waterfalls you've ever seen. Let's jump straight into the tour. Okay, thanks for joining in the video today, guys. Make sure to click like and subscribe. Let me know, type Finca in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this. In the meantime, let's get started. My name is Sam Miller. I've been in Colombia for the past 11 years and I'm showing you some of the best real estate that this country has to offer. Let's start right here. You can see this is the driveway coming down into two independent lots. They're 18,000 meters each. They go right down in the, into the jungle. You've got an entrance here. You've got a Casa Mayordomo leading up here, which is the caretaker's house. It's a little cabin, but the real value to this land is that you've got two creeks running on either side. Let's go take a look. So you've got all types of trees here uh, leading into the property. Flowers, the birds in the morning are just spectacular. I am absolutely loving this place. To be honest, uh, I would buy this property if I had the asking price, but I don't yet. So let's get to work. As you can see, there's one lot here for 18,000 square meters and one lot here for 18,000 square meters, which has the casa, which has the house with three bedrooms, three baths and a sauna inside. So let's start with obviously one of the most impressive parts of the property, the view of the Valle de Aburra, where Medellin is located. Seven hours driving on the highway, far away, far away, far away. Every moment I was spending I've been waking up doing yoga out here, uh, just hanging out, reading, writing. This is an inspirational property. When you have this 360 degree privacy surrounded by nature, there's something about it that wakes up a part of you. And I think that is the special part of this property. At about 6.30 in the morning, you've got the sunrise coming up over the mountains, illuminating the valley. The clouds in the morning race up uh, through the hills here. Uh, and then about 6 p.m., uh, you'll have the sunset, the lights of the city light up, and it's just spectacular. It just makes, makes you feel good inside when you look at this view. But let's get to the main house. Okay, so there's covered parking for two spaces. Uh, plus, you could probably fit another eight cars uh, outside here as well. Uh, at the moment, I'm using it for a gym, but there's also a barbecue. Mmm, maracuja and soda. There's a tip for you. I love this, uh, love this flavor. Very nice for a warm afternoon. This lot extends another 80 meters uh, into the jungle below. Plenty of room to plant uh, a garden, uh, fruit trees, or even if you wanted to look at cash flow opportunities for this property, some type of glamping setup. The nature here is pretty beautiful. Um, I could definitely see the, the potential for some cabins, um, especially now as glamping is in such style right now, you're getting nightly rates of glamping from $100 to $350 for uh, private camping, comfortable camping in nature. So. From here, this house is functional, but I think if you're gonna be spending the listing price on the property, there's probably quite a few upgrades that you'll be doing to the property. But let's take a look through so you can see what you would be working with. So we have an exterior bathroom here, which connects to the entertainment area. That's very convenient when you're having uh, some guests over. Uh, inside, you're walking straight into the sala, the living room, nice high ceilings, I like it. Uh, open uh, layout with a chimney as well. Of course, you wanna, when it does get a little bit chilly, you wanna have a, a fireplace ready to go. Living room extends into the dining and kitchen area. This part of the house I really like. You've got huge glass windows, which just 
you know, as you're sitting in the sofa or as you're, as you're eating dinner, there is, there's, a, there's always a beautiful view to look at. Now let's go down the main hallway. Uh, one of the hallways with the best views that you'll find. And this is where I think this house could do with a little bit of a, uh, a renovation. We've got two bedrooms here, but they're not making the most of the spectacular view to the front. So I could definitely see this being rearranged. So you've got the two bedrooms there, and then the, uh, and then the bathroom. I could certainly see some type of uh, walling off of this area to create a even more impressive master bedroom with the view to the front. You've got the pathway along there, but you know, maybe this is a property that you want to work on. Maybe you're even starting fresh. Maybe you're living in this property while you're building something of your imagination, of your dreams on the adjacent property. Depends what you're into. I've put my standing desk set up right here. Yeah, there's a little bit less light so I don't have to squint. I've, I'm staring at beautiful nature as I'm working. Very good way to get through the day. All right, so at the end of the hallway, we come into the master bedroom, the first of three bedrooms. Uh, as you can see, nice high uh, wooden rafter ceilings. Uh, a little bit dark, I think there's some renovations that could be done to this end of the house to make it a bit more comfortable. Got a mini chimney over there, but we've also got a walk-in closet and, and a jacuzzi. Now, I think this bathroom could do, certainly do with a uh, bit of a touch to it. Uh, it's got some amazing views. Okay, so, you know, interesting design features here to access the bath. You gotta walk around here. I think this is certainly an area of the house that could do with some renovation. Uh, bear in mind, as it's a Finca, it also has a septic tank system. Um, this, these are the kind of things that having somebody uh, who's a majordomo who might be living there full time, or maybe they're, they're, they're just using that as a base. Um, there's a, a few th extra pieces of maintenance that you've got to do when you're thinking about living in a finca. It's not as convenient as the, uh, as the delivery and uh, apartment, uh, you know, housing administration run properties that you'd find inside the metropolitan zones. So let's continue to one of my favorite parts of the house. Okay, so living out here, I've been visiting the waterfalls of La Catedral, El Salte de Angel. Uh, there's another couple of waterfalls in that area. Uh, within 15 minutes to an hour walking, you can find a range of different spectacular waterfalls. I'm talking natural paradise is located next door, uh, even on the property. There's a waterfall that's located on this property, which is part of the, uh, the creek that is uh, adjacent to the property, that runs the, along the border of the property. So I've been getting out into the water a lot. Uh, sometimes it can be a little, little cold in the water. So arriving back to the Finca and having a nice warm sauna is an absolute delight. And this is, um, so what a luxury to have your own steam room in your own property. I've absolutely loved that. Uh, this is the laundry room, uh, fairly standard. We've got gas, which is going into uh, the great hot water system uh, that's in the property, as well as running the steam room. Out here, we've got a terrace of, uh, of servicios and upstairs, we'll finish up the vlog. All right, so there's a, uh, a little second floor space. This finca was actually designed with the foundations for building potentially a second floor. So don't let your imagination get in the way of what could be possible here. So the house has potential. For a listing price around dos mil quinientos, uh, you're looking at a pretty sizable investment uh, considering that there's lots being sold next door, which are empty lots in a more exposed part of the mountain uh, that are selling for about 900 million pesos. Uh, this comes with two lots uh, at 18,000 square meters each uh, and this property here. So you've got a great starting point to develop and build if you'd like to, maybe make some uh, modifications to the existing property, or maybe even start fresh. That's completely up to you, but I think the biggest valuable part of this, of this property is the land itself. 
having this type of proximity to the beautifully blooming, eternally springful city of Medellin is an absolute gem. Uh, everyone right now is realizing the value of living in close proximity to a city, being in a place where you can truly embrace our organic roots and enjoy nature as you plug in to the internet, which by the way, I can show you has pretty good speeds. So as you can see, great internet, by the way, about 50 megabytes down and 50 megabytes up. I've been uploading videos in light speed here. So this is, the best place to experience Medellin, the best way to live with the best of both worlds, our natural uh, flowing organic world and our artificial created, digitally abundant world. Is there a better way to do it? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna be exploring different ways to do it. So there you go. Where else in the world for uh, about 600,000 US dollars can you have a property like this located to such an exciting part of the world? Uh, I think the quality of life that can be had in a property like this is, is the real gem here, is the real uh, exciting part of this property for me. So if you'd like more information about this property, Click the link in the description, send in your email. Uh, we'll be in contact with you there. Until the next video, I invite you to embrace your fears because they may be defining your dreams. There may be worries uh, about not knowing Spanish, about not knowing how to take the next step that are preventing you from living a quality of life that you may not have even imagined existed yet. And that's what we're gonna be doing on this channel. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.